rape, murder, and horny princes, here's what happened in real life and the fourth season of Downton Abbey. <laughs> Season 4 opens in 1922 and Lady Mary is just starting to recover from Matthew wanting to do movies. In the 1920s, six months of mourning would have been seen as a bit too Victorian, as by that time most people thought that Queen Victoria's public withdrawal and mourning of her dead husband Albert was damaging to the country, and remarriage was becoming pretty common. Out of nowhere, O'Brien is off the show. I can't believe Miss O'Brien would be so thoughtless. Yeah. As her character sneaks off to India to work for Robert's cousin Susan McClare, whose husband has been transferred to India due to the growing tension, which would have been Gandhi's non-violent civil disobedience against the British. Gandhi was arrested in March 1922, one month after O'Brien goes to India. Coincidence? Lady Mary is named Matthew's sole heir, which, thanks to the Finance Act of 1919, called for an up to 40% tax, but brings her into partnership with her father and Branson. This is an extremely hard time for women to better themselves. They still didn't have full voting rights and were still being denied admittance to universities such as Cambridge. Edith goes to London to see her editor Michael Gregson and meets Virginia Woolf, one of the most important modernist writers of the 20th century at the center of the London Bloomsbury Group. Michael Gregson wants to use the war-torn shambles of Germany to marry Edith and get around the fact that his wife is in an asylum. Post-World War I, blamed for the whole thing, Germany's laws were changing, an economy collapsed, leading to a democracy which we know will go very, very wrong. To the utter complete silent shock of everyone, Rose meets, dates, engages, and then isn't engaged to an American jazz singer. Evolving from slave music in America, jazz explodes out of the states in the 1920s, aided by the underground drinking clubs of Prohibition, and began to grow in popularity in Europe in 1919 when the original Dixieland band toured England. To help Cora's brother Paul Giamatti, Lord Grantham takes awful Thomas to America so at least he isn't in a couple of episodes. Crossing the Atlantic in the 1920s would have been by ship and would have taken 4.5 days each way. That is until 1936 when the Queen Mary would reduce that time to a brisk four days each way. Paul Giamatti was mixed up in the Teapot Dome scandal, which took place during the presidency of Warren G. Harding. It involved the Secretary of the Interior, Albert Fall, leasing Navy oil reserves to private companies for cheap. It would be seen as the biggest political scandal in American politics. That is until Richard Nixon buys a tape recorder. Lord Grantham returns from America and boy does he need a drink, as by this time American prohibition is in full swing to the bewilderment of Europe. Silly Americans. Later, in London for Rose's presentation to the Queen, the family meets Edward, the Prince of Wales, and gets mixed up with a letter that he wrote to his married lover, Mrs. Frieda Dudley Ward. This romance did happen, but ended when the Prince met Wallace Simpson, the twice-divorced woman for whom he would abdicate the throne in 1936 to marry, only months into his reign of King of England. Also, Mary fell in the mud. A refrigerator is forced on Mrs. Patmore. Branson continues to be a socialist. Edith gets pregnant by Michael Gregson before he disappears in Germany, so she runs off to Switzerland. Anna is raped. Bates maybe killed the man who raped her. And Isis attended a church bazaar. 